In this video, I'm going to show you a really nice, quick and easy dodge and burn trick for Capture One Pro. If you would like your own copy of Capture One Pro, then please check the YouTube description for links. Okay, here we have a very pretty woman, so let's try this dodge and burn trick on her face. First, I'm going to create a layer to control the overall effect. So let's just add a layer with the plus. And as this will control the overall brightness, I'll call the layer Brightness. This is also the layer where I will create the base mask to mask the skin from the rest of the image. OK, let's draw the mask. Press B to bring up the mask brush. And then press M to view the mask. Right click to bring up the brush parameters. First, make sure our size is OK. Then we want a hardness of 0, an opacity and flow of 100, and everything else seems fine. Let's start here and draw our mask, going around the outside of the face and creating an outline of the skin, which we will fill in a moment. Go all the way down the neck, straight across the bottom, up the other side of the shoulder, nice and quick, and then across the hair and the forehead, down the right hand side, make sure we get the ear, we don't want to miss the ear out, and around the jaw, and we're done. Okay, so we've got our mask outline, so now all we do is right click on the layer and choose fill mask, and there we go, the mask is filled. So now just do a sweep along this gap in the hair, nice. There we go, there's our basic mask. The next thing is to erase the mask from the eyeballs. Press E to switch to the erase brush and then zoom into the eye like so. And then right click to alter the size, make it nice and small. And then just paint the mask out of the eyes, off the eyeballs. We don't want to be performing a dodge and burn on the eyeballs. I don't really need to be too accurate because I will be refining the mask in a little while. Okay, that's one I done, so just hold space and drag to pan and then start erasing from the other eye. Here we go, completely removing the mask from the eyeball. Okay, a final few sweeps just to tidy up and I think we're done. Nice, now I want to just clean up the mask on the jaw a little bit, so I'm going to zoom into the jaw here. I've got my eraser set already, so I'll just set the size and just roughly go around the outside of the jaw and here, that should be fine, maybe just a tad around there. That'll do for now, we will be refining the mask in a minute, so I think that'll be fine. Okay, right click on the mask and choose Refine Mask. The Refine Mask will clean up the edge for us, so we just bring up the slider until we think it's done, basically. I think about there. That's fine. Very nice. That's actually done a pretty good job. I think I'll just fill this little hole here that I found, that I've spotted. So make sure our brush is selected, paint it back in, then right click and refine mask and just click apply and there we go nice and clean and there we have it we've quickly created a nice clean and pretty accurate mask i think that'll do fine M to get rid of the mask bring back the hand tool and now we're ready for the next stage which is to add our dodge and burn layers let's create our burn layer press plus on the layers panel and once the layer is created we'll just click on it and call it burn then right click on the layer and select copy mask from brightness. Now our burn layer has the same mask as the brightness layer, so it's affecting the same area. Create our dodge layer, new layer, call it dodge. And then right click, copy mask from and choose either of these layers, they're the same. There we go, if we press M and then select any of the layers we can see they all have the same mask. 
they'll all start out affecting the same area. OK, to the effect. Let's dodge and burn. Let's choose our burn layer. And we're going to create the burn part of the dodge and burn trick. In the exposure panel, bring the brightness all the way down to the bottom. And then up to the layers panel and select luma range. Now to set the range of the burn, just flatten this on the left, bring this down all the way down and then back up until we can just see the black starting to appear in the image like here. Then bit by bit increase the fall off until you get your required effect. As you pull it across it will gradually affect more and more of the lighter areas but less. And then to make the fall off smoother increase the radius I suggest about halfway like so. Now if we display our mask here we can see there is more mask in the darker areas and less in the light. Very nice. Once you're set just turn off your mask and click apply. And now for the dodge. So select the dodge layer and increase the brightness all the way to the top. And again click on our luma range like so and do the opposite. Just flatten that and bring this up to the top then bring this across like so until we can see our bright areas starting to show. Then bring over the fall off all the way to the left bit by bit until you have it at the position you want. Increase your radius and then once you're done, which I am, just click apply. And there we have a basic but crude dodge and burn. We have our dodge in the light areas here and burn in the dark areas. So now all we have to do is quickly refine it. OK, so that's the basic dodge and burn effect. If we take a little look, let's look at our before. Very nice, but quite flat. And then if we take a look at our after, we can see we actually do have a dodge and burn effect. Obviously, it looks a bit over the top and not great at the moment, but that's where our controls come in. If I select the dodge layer and then bring down the opacity of the layer, that will bring down the effect, make it more realistic. Then I'll use the opacity on the burn layer to reduce the burn just a bit, about there. And then on the brightness layer, if I bring down the brightness like so, it will lessen the overall effect and make it much more realistic. In fact, I think the burn is still a little dark, so select burn and reduce the opacity a little bit more, about there, that's fine. If we take a little look, we can see that the effect is a lot more natural. In fact, I think I'll just lighten the dodge just a tad, like so. There we go. Before and after. I think you'll agree that's a really nice effect and really, really simple to achieve. While we're here, let's take a look at another use for this effect. It's not only good on faces, it works really well on muscles. We can use the effect to enhance and create definition in these muscles and give the uh, torso here a nice grungy effect. OK, press down on plus and create a new filled layer. I'm not going to create a mask or a control layer for this one. I'm going to do it to the whole image. I think it will look fine. OK, call this layer burn. Burn, like so. Bring the brightness down all the way, like so. Set our luma range. This should be very quick. Bring that down. All the way down with this. Get it to the right position, the black point, then set our fall off like so. I don't want so much on this one. Couple of little tweaks to the handles like so to get it right. Hit apply. We're done with burn. Now create the dodge layer, new filled layer and rename this one dodge. Then with the dodge layer selected, just increase the brightness to max. Select Luma Range, up with that, then set our left handle just to where we see nice highlights. Then drag the fall off until we get the required amount. Little tweak here, a little bit of a more of a tweak on the fall off and we're done. And right away you can see this has done an excellent job in enhancing this 
the muscles on this torso. So let's take a look, here we go, before and after, really good. So let's just add a couple of enhancements, let's bring down the saturation a tad, just to make it a little bit more grungy, and then to give a real grunge effect we'll up the structure to max, that gives that lovely grungy skin effect. And that's how you use the dodge and burn trick on this muscly torso. Let's take a look, before and after and before and after. And there it is, a really good dodge and burn effect in a couple of minutes. Even though this effect is a really nice effect and can be used standalone, you could use it also as a guide to show you where you can dodge and burn or as a starting point for further editing. The sky's the limit.